Ladies and gentlemen, how you doing? Charles here. And today I want to tell you a little bit, we're going to talk today about guy names here in Serbia. A guy, in plural, is momsi. Yet uh, one is momak, is a guy. Guy is, is momsi, okay? There's, when we talk about Serbian men names, uh, there's some common endings that we need to be aware of. And sometimes it can be a little bit confusing. I'll get to the, the confusing ones first. It's very rare, usually, in, in all Serbian man names, you don't see a lot that end in the letter A. When we get to Serbian girl names next, you'll see almost every single one ends in the letter A. So it can be confusing for you if you're a foreigner here. Uh, the, the, we'll, we'll do the trouble ones last. Okay, forget it. For men names here in Serbia, there's some common endings that you'll notice. A-N, we've got Slav. We've got Mir. We've got Oye. We've got In. In, I guess you'd say in Serbian. And Cool. Okay? So let's look at some of these. Some of these common ones. And is very, very common. Uh, probably the most common one, maybe you could say. We've got names like Boban. You've got names like Boyan. You've got names like Slobodan. You've got names like Milan. You've got names like Zoran. Okay, on. That's how we say it. When you see B-O-J-A-N, that's boy y. It's a y sound, it's not J. I know a lot of these Serbian students who go to the USA, they say people say Bojan, you know, stuff like that. Another very, very common one, probably the most common one in Serbia is this one. Looks like Dejan, Dejan, but it's actually Dejan. It's like a Y, Dejan. Okay, very, very common. Um, what else do we have? Oh, the other one. Oh, my God. This is another funny one for, for a lot of foreigners from the USA when you see this. Looks like Dragon, but it's Dragon, Dragon. And this is a very, very common name. So you notice this on. These are very, very common Serbian names here for me. Next one, we've got Slav. Uh, Slav is a very common one also. You've got names such as Borislav, Tomislav, the president of Serbia, Miroslav, what else? Vojislav, a lot of Slav on the end. Okay? Another one's Mir. This is another, another popular one. Dragomir. They say this word means peace in here. So you notice drag. We've got Dragoslav is another one. And Dragon, it's very common also. Uh, you'll notice in a lot of Serbian names. Vladimir is probably another one of the most common that you'll find here in Serbia. Uh, Tihomir. Milomir. You get the point, right? Oh yeah, this is one that's always been tough for me. And there's names like Milivoye. I never like to say these, and I don't know it. Radivoye. It just doesn't sound right coming off my my tongue. Spasoye. What else? Blagoye. Okay. O J E O J E N. This is another common one. Uh, Veseline. Dragotin. Jivoin. Oh. N N N. And last one's called. This is another popular one. Bronco. Bashko. Velko, this one's kind of funny, Velko, that, uh, there's a lot of Serbian students who go to the USA with the name Velko, and it's always been my hardest one to say, because that, yeah, Velko, 
and they say a lot of people in the USA call them Velcro, and Velcro is that stuff, you know, if, you, if you're a Serbian, maybe you don't know what Velcro is, it's that, sub, that material that it clamps together, and sometimes people use it on their shoes and things, so, anyway, ko, ko, ko is another one, uh, Slav, ko, different things like that, but those are the most popular, regular, the, the, just the most common endings, and they're easy to see, so when you see near, slav, on, oye, in, ko, it's usually a boy, okay, or it always is a boy, but now let's look at some other ones that are not, they don't really follow this rules of these endings, but they're very, very common here, is probably the most common ones, this here, uh, What else do we got? These you're gonna find all over Serbia and in the diaspora. This is pronounced Urosh. Nanad. It's not Ninad, it's Nanad. Milosh. It's not Milos. Milosh, because the I is an E sound. Milosh. Miodrag is another common one. Uh, also, the, this drag ending's on a few more. You've got this name here, which looks like pre-drag. That's what I used to say. I used to call my friend, hey, pre-drag. But it's predreg is what it is. And you got drag here. You notice drag a lot. I think it means sweet, because you call someone drag, uh, draga. Draga is like sweetheart or something like that, I believe. And what else? Drago, th this other name, I've never liked these names. Drago lube, lube. That lube, <laughs> that sounds so crazy. But those are common. They don't really follow that regular ending, but they're also very, 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 very common names in Serbia. Now let's quickly end, to end this whole thing. The most confusing thing you're going to find here is the Serbian man names of N and A. Okay, this is the ones I've had trouble with. Because some, like this name here, that is a Vanya. And Vanya can be a boy or a girl. Okay, this name. Sasha, it can be a boy or a girl. I had a funny story with that. I had somebody that kept sending me messages on Facebook, and I've always been a guy that always says, sweetheart, you know, and it was a picture of a boy and a girl in a picture, and they kept sending me messages, and I saw the name Sasha, and I just thought, a boy, or a girl, and uh, I finally got to the point, and I said, hey, sweetheart, how you doing, sweetheart, something, and then they finally sent me a message, said, are you gay? And I said, no, why are you saying that? He said, why do you keep calling me sweetheart? And I said, well, I thought you were, he said, you're a girl. I always say sweetheart to be friendly, and he said, I'm a man. It's like, oh, damn. Okay, so, so you got to be careful. There is some guy names at the end today. Uh, and these here, here's a couple. Lubisha. Uh, Kakosik. Yeah, that's it. Slavisha and Lubisha. Lubisha is a boy. Slavisha is a boy, but girls, there's a name that's very similar. Slavitsa and Ljubica. The C it means it's a girl. Itza, which we'll talk about next time, always means it's a girl. But Sh, Ljubica, and Slavisha is a boy. Okay, another one, common one. Sinisha, that's also a boy. And what else do we have? Uh, another very, very common one in Serbia. These two here. Namenya. And Strahinya. What else? Oh yeah, Nebosha. Nebosha. Did I spell that right? Did I? I think that's right, yeah. But so this is it. This is the confusing one. Man names, there's not very many that end in the letter A, but this is the list of them. Vanya, boy or girl. Sasha, boy or girl. Lubisha, is how you say that, and that's a boy. Lubitsa is a girl. Slavitsa is a girl. Slavisha is a boy. Sinisha. Namanya. Stratinya. And that's your little lesson for today. Don't be ginger.